Hey guys, it's been a while. Now, this one is another video unboxing. Now, I haven't watched this one yet. I'm fucking keen to do so, so I'm going to do the unboxing instead. So, I'm going to pull my hand away from the camera now. I've just picked up from Fremantle, WWE DVD, for all mankind, the life and career of Mick Foley. Now, you guys know how much of a big Foley mark I have always been. He was the one of the first wrestlers I really got into, and uh, during that time when he he was forced to retire by that bastard Triple H. Now, uh, I've already taken the DVD out of the wrap, and I've pulled the piece of paper out that came with it because I'm going to use that. I'm going to be able to. I'm going to be able to read to you guys what's on it. I'm going to get a solid shot while I uh, pull the paper up. So disc one is the uh, disc one is the sort of the documentary part of it. It's got a documentary on it, like unlike the other one. So disc one uh, has a happy story, idyllic childhood, huge fan, training school, work in the road, WCW, Sting, Vader, ECW in Japan, Mankind, Dude, Love, Hell in a Cell, Mr. Sarko, The Rock, Author, Triple H, Commissioner, Going Away, Randy Orton, Making a Difference, Edge. Retirement, stand-up comic, a complete one-off. And that's um, the documentary part. Disc 2 is where the matches come in. The first match you've got is from Superstars in September of 1986. You've got Jack Foley and Les Thornton versus the British Bulldogs. With alternative commentary by Mick Foley and Joey Styles. That sounds fucking awesome. AWA's All-Star Wrestling, October 1988. Cactus Jack and Gary Young. Versus Scott Steiner and Billy Travis. Then you've got Wild West Wrestling in April 89. Jack Man Cactus Jack Manson versus Brick As Brown. Power Hour, March 1990. Cactus Jack versus Keith Hart. Cactus Jack versus Sting from November 91. No November 91 is in the Submit or Surrender match. Clash of the Champions from. January 92, Fourth Count Anywhere, Jack vs. Van Hammer. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Cactus Jack vs. The Sandman in a barbed wire match. Cyber Slam, Cactus Jack vs. Shane Douglas. Alternative, that's got, that one's got alternative commentary. Uh, in Your House, Cold Day in Hell, Mankind vs. Maivia. And In Your House, Canadian Stampain, Stampede, Mankind vs. Hunter. And Hurst. Disc 3, Dude Love Rocky Maivia uh, from 97. Mankind Undertaker, King of the Ring Hell in the Cell. Alternative commentary, Foley and Styles. So that'll be good. The alternative commentary on that match will be good, I expect. Mankind and Kane versus the New Age Outlaws from 1998 for the tag titles. In Your House, Rock Bottom, Mankind versus The Rock. Uh, that's in the WWE 13 game, I think. Uh, Clash of the... No, that's, where were we? Um, yeah. Mankind and The Rock versus Triple H and Shane McMahon. That's from a SmackDown, 2nd of September 99. For the WWE tag titles. Uh, Mankind versus Al Snow from SmackDown on the 16th of December 99. And the last match on the DVD. This is where the DVD's match element ends. No Way Out. Uh, 27th of February 2000, one of the great, one of the um, greatest matches I've ever seen. One of my favourite matches, Cactus Jack versus Triple H in the inside that devilish structure, Hell in a Cell. Now I think this is a cracking DVD. I'm fucking stoked to watch this, honestly, guys. Um, uh, so I'll, I'll give you a little bit on that on that last match because um, I, I uh, first watched WWE when I WWF sorry at the time. When I was 10. And um, it was at that point when I was 10 years old. That I uh, started watching wrestling. And. You see Mick Foley was my childhood hero. Because of these kind of things. Uh, but that match was sick. A uh, great match. Now obviously. Now some people might complain that. Well the DVD ends there. And it hasn't got any of his matches from. Um, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, One Night Stand Two. Uh, you've got the Edge, the Edge WrestleMania match, and the and the 
the Randy Orton one. So here's my advice to you guys, right? Pick this DVD up, but if you want the other matches, pick the other DVD up as well, because the other DVD is mostly matches, right? But if you pick up the hardcore edition, it's got those matches you want on at the edge in the Randy Orton match, and um, it's relatively easy to pick up ECW One Night Stand um, 2006 as well, and that's you can literally pick that up for a couple of quid. So honestly, guys, if you want the um, the whole career, it's not hard to do, and I mean... Guy's worth it, you know, I mean, I've been to see this guy do stand-up comedy, and, yeah, he is a fucking awesome, awesome person. I mean, he was lovely to meet as well. When I met him, right, now, I ain't told this story on YouTube, so I'm going to tell it. When I met Mick, I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to switch to front-facing camera, I think, for this. So I'm going to switch to front-facing camera, back in a second. Anyway, guys, back on front-facing camera now, um... So, when I met Mick at his comedy gig at the meet and greet segment of the show, uh, post-show, I was, uh, needless to say, I was a little bit nervous. I mean, they always say, never meet your heroes, and I was about to do that. So, I, uh, I'm struggling to get my words out. I'm not feeling great today. Uh, I, uh, sort of, couldn't talk to him that much. I was like, mm, I've waited all these years to meet you, and like, I've got nothing to say. And he, he was a bit confused, and I said, "Well, I idolised you growing up." He said, "Really?" He said, "That's really nice to hear." I, I honestly think he was a bit taken aback by my uh, my fanboyishness. You know, I. Uh, I couldn't get my words out, I, uh, you know, I, I felt really bad, I mean, I actually tweeted him post-show and apologised for being so, uh, 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 umming and ahhing and that sort of stuff, you know, and he, um, sent me back a, uh, um, he sent me back a PM, DM, DM on Twitter, DM, yeah, um, and said it was nice to meet you, you didn't embarrass yourself, and I mean, that is just, you know, the kind of person we're, we're looking at here. So, yeah, honestly, guys, if you want my advice, go out and get that DVD. I got it for nineteen ninety nine from www.dvd.com. Uh, remember, also, if you go to Silver Vision, they are selling out a lot of their stuff. So, uh, it is definitely worth going over there to pick up some other stuff. I'll be back with another DVD review next time I get one. I might also talk about this DVD when I've watched it, but for the time being, this is what you're getting. So, thank you guys for being here. Love you all.